Hi everybody, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with a, another nail polish review and today I am doing um, some julep polishes. Um, these are not new to me. I've got these in my November boxes, the um, matte suede polishes and I wanted to, um, I haven't used them in a while so I wanted to pull them back out and I haven't seen any videos on here about these so I wanted to make sure to share these with you. There were five different polishes in the julep matte suede line and the first one here is this oxblood like red color this one is called minka and it has the matte suede finish on the top sticker on the top and the second one is this golden this gold color and it is called amber i'm going to actually use amber today the third is like a gunmetal silverish color and it is called Brit. The fourth is, I believe this is, yeah, this is like a greenish silverish color, like a greenish gunmetal color. And this one is called Haley. And then the last one is this purplish gunmetal type color and this one is called Nora. I'm actually going to use Nora and Amber today. The purple and gold. Um, they're really nice and thick. You can do pretty sure one coat on these, but I will show you how they turn out. And then I'm also going to use the Julep Matte Top Coat along with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I am going to do apply amber first. And I'm going to put amber on my ring and pinky finger. And if you haven't noticed, these are this is how the brush for the Julep polishes look. They're the standard polishes. As you can see, this is a nicely fairly thick, like it's taking a while for that to even drop the polish to run down. So I'm going to go ahead and cap the free edge as I always do. And it's a really nice formula, really smooth. There's no patchiness, there's no streakiness. It just goes on really great, and it is pretty opaque in just the one coat. I just. is fairly thick so <clears throat> sorry for the lighting it is there we go so this is amber this is the gold color and then this isn't um, Nora this one is the purple Before I move on, I 
canvas form it just like the other pop, other one I just used. It's nice and thick, but you can work with it easily. It goes on really smooth. I really, really love these polishes. And what made me decide to pull these this um, these back out was a friend of mine who I just kind of recently introduced to the wonderful world of polish. She asked, was asking me about some what I thought about some of the different finishes, like the matte and like the pixie dust and the um, sand by OPI Pixie Dust is by Zoya. And she was saying that she wasn't sure that she would like the matte finish. And I was telling her that it actually is a really nice finish. It is different, you know, if you are one that, you know, likes the high gloss shine. But it really is, gives it a very different look and feel. And I just really love these. So I am actually meeting up with her today. So I wanted to do my manicure with the matte suede. And you can see the difference in how they look here. This one is the first one I apply and it is fairly dry. Actually it's pretty dry already to the touch. And you can see how this one is still wet so it's still kind of shiny versus how this one looks. And it's just a really nice formula. I really love it. I really should use these more often but it's I'm trying to go through and use all my polishes at least, you know, once. <laughs> so it makes it hard to go back and use something that I've already done. The one color that I probably use more than um, more than once is just the black that I have, and that one is the Liquid Leather by China Glaze. So... Okay, so this is how they look. Sorry. This is Nora, the purplish gunmetal color. And this one is Amber, the gold color. And I believe what I'm going to do is stamp like the metallic y um, pink over the purple to help it kind of stand out and then I'm going to probably do um, white over the gold so this is how they look really nice dries quickly so I really like this polish and I highly recommend that you guys pick these up so I'm gonna go ahead and finish and then I will come back and show you um, after all my nails are painted so Okay, so I'm back, and here is the finished application of the two polishes, Nora and um, Amber by Julep, the matte suede finish, and what I, and here's the other hand, I just did the opposite, the ring and the pinky finger are the accent nails for each hand. I just flip flop the colors so that it is reverse on each hand. So this is them final. It has a nice mat. I did apply the top coat just on the middle finger here. As you can see, there's no real big difference, but I just wanted you to just to show you that um, how that looks. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and do my stamping and post that in a separate video. But again, these are the Julep Matte Suede Nail Polishes. And here's what they, they look like. So they're pretty nice. And I did do two coats. And what I did want to mention, because I didn't show it in the two nails that I showed you, is that you have to do it with a light hand if you don't you're pressing really heavily because it dry, starts drying almost immediately that if you're pressing too heavy it will kind of wipe off um, what's already down there because it is thick so I recommend highly recommend doing it applying it with a really light hand and just smooth it over lightly and you'll get the best results so thank you for watching hope this was helpful and have a great day